Good evening friends. Important judgment coming from Honorable Kerala High Court. In this particular case, petitioner has wrongly availed IGST credit whereas it should have been CGST and SGST in GST or 3B. Honi chahiye thi C and S for Lely IGST. <coughs> Wrongly availed and utilized also. Petitioner has filed representation before the proper officer. Moved a rectification application also. But we all know GSTR 3B can't be revised. Quite obvious the impugned order was passed against the petitioner. Hence he has approached to the Honorable Kerala High Court for rectification. He wanted that uh, this wrongly availed IGST credit should be considered towards CGST and SGST and accordingly it would be available for discharging CGST and SGST liability. Honorable Kerala High Court has accepted and held that this rectification application must be considered by the proper officer and correspondingly this should be allowed as a rectification in GSTR 3B. Honi bhi chahiye. To error is human. Instead of CGST and SGST, he has wrongly availed as a IGST. It may happen vice versa. But ultimately this credit was available to the petitioner. So impugned order set aside and rectification was allowed and it is important for all of us that we all are looking for revision in GSTR 3B but we all know revision once we have made mistake it is not available as a revision revision in GSTR 3B. Hence this petitioner has moved before Honorable Kerala High Court and got the relief. But let's take it further. In this case, petitioner has wrongly availed IGST credit, right? Instead of CGST and SGST. And quite obvious, once you have wrongly availed IGST credit, then you have utilized the same because first, you have to exhaust IGST credit towards your output tax liability. Agar apne IGST ki credit galat avail ki, to quite obvious hai ke aap sabse pehle IGST ki credit ko hi utilize karenge, order of utilization. Pehle aapko IGST ki credit ko puri tarah se exhaust karna padega. So this case become wrongly availing IGST credit and utilized. Am I right? Whether interest is leviable under section 50 subsection 3 of CGST Act. Kya interest lagega? And let me tell you this fact to all of you, to my all viewers. It was wrongly availed and utilized because of order of utilization. First, I need to exhaust IGST credit bucket. But if some total of IGST credit, CGST credit and SGST credit is higher than amount utilized then it is uh, as good as he has not utilized the same. Agar aapka sum total I plus C plus S 
ऑलवेज हायर देन द अमाउंट यूटिलाइज तो आप ये कहेंगे मैंने इस क्रेडिट को यूटिलाइज नहीं किया <coughs> फिर इंटरेस्ट नहीं लगना चाहिए ए ग्रेट रिलीफ सर्कुलर नंबर 192 नाइनटी टू डेटेड सेवनटीन जुलाई ट्वेंटी क्लियरली गिविंग दिस रिलीफ टू ऑल ऑफ अस no interest in all such cases we are some total of i plus c plus s is always higher than amount utilized then interest is not leviable circular number 192 interest is leviable only when wrongly availed and utilized but this is the specific case where sum total is always higher than amount utilized with a penalty leviable because under section 73 non fraud case under section 74 fraud case so cause notice can be issued for non payment short payment of taxes wrongly availed or wrongly utilized credit there the term used or so the kind of interpretation we are having in the trade even if wrongly availed credit not utilized penalty is leviable in one of the case before honorable punjab and haryana high court deepak sales corporation i have made separate video on same which is there again on my youtube channel which you can watch later and as per this judgment it is being held no interest no penalty if credit wrongly availed credit wrongly availed but not utilized so no interest no penalty so just because credit wrongly availed the penalty is leviable no way so that is what the judgment coming from punjab and haryana high court in deepak sales corporation hope this video will help you for your gst endeavors stay tuned thanks for watching Thank you very much.